Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my channel. If you just tune in, Hi, join the family. Or if you're a returning subscriber, welcome. This is C H I Z I Cheesy Cheesy Nation. We need to understand that top world to you guys. We like. This is the way I'm slaying. <clears throat> oh, it's so bad. I'm so sure. Oh my god. The end comes close. I think this is pretty bad. Dog. So, today's episode is going to be very, very, very interesting. You know why I say so? It's going to be this. Never, ever, ever be a twist. Yay! And, you know, the twist is going to be. Very, very, very hilarious because it's going to be like if I have not done the particular, particular thing, you will never ever ever. So, Seriously? Yeah, yeah. If I haven't, if I have, I'll be taking something bitter, and if I have not, I'm gonna be taking something sweet. So, guys, stick around for this Omoto show. You all saw my last video where I did my um was it yes where I told you guys of how I've been living in pain for 22 years and my story time yeah yeah my prank story time this cup was there it's been here with me this is filled with Manta soft drink and sweet i don't want to open it because i don't actually want anything to enter it right now sorry for the way i'm talking it's just that uh, let's get hydrated so this should be my i have not and this is my i have so so welcome to my video Let's get straight into the never ever ever challenge. And guys, I discovered that I had initially recorded this video. So when I went to my child, everything did not say. I had to come to start all the way with it. And as you look at me, I'm looking tired. I'm looking tired and hungry right now. And I just have to start all the way with this video because. It's so annoying. I think I knew that I said that before. How God did it save of my phone is something funny. I just put it on stage. So I like I said, this is a never ever ever challenge. And if I have done the what the question or if I have done it, I will be taking this picture because you don't want to know. It's looking like oh it's not going to be a picture to see you. Don't worry. Now the mom is going to market to buy a new call to this in can carry for so tell her and you let her use to cook chips for you then you know what I'm talking about here. And if I have not done the session yet, I'm going to drink the session banter session. Okay, let's get into the video. First, never have I lied. Never have I ever lied about my identity. I have not lied about my identity. I'm true to myself. One of us are talking here right now. I will tell you everything about me straight up. I don't lie. Even when I was in my first university, I don't lie about myself. I don't lie about my family background. Why would I lie? Why would I lie? Like, there's no reason to lie. Tell your, tell them your true identity. Tell them who you really are. For me, I don't lie about my identity. If it's that I didn't tell, really tell people that I'm a pastor daughter, because I kept that mute. I kept that a secret. I don't want people to 
know that I was a pastor's daughter, but I never lied about my secrets. I was a very calm girl in school. I went my way. I never thought that I was a pastor's daughter. So if it's that one, maybe, but I know I can never lie about my identity. Never have I ever hidden my true feelings from a crush. Um, mm. <laughs> I have. I have. Jeez. Yeah. I have hidden my my true feelings. Like you know, when you like a guy, you know, uh, uh, you can't just show him. Like, and funny enough, some guys are actually like actually used to you know have same feelings for me. And uh, as a chikara, I am. You can't just throw yourself at them. You have to do small chakara, small yangana. You know, mm -hmm. you have to do all this kind of things. So. The crush, my the crush I had, there was a crush I knew that actually liked me too. So I just had to think that I never really liked him, but it was kind of obvious. But I just, mm, I don't like him, and that was it. So I hid my true feelings, even when I actually liked the guy, I hid my true feelings. <laughs> don't mind me. So. Never have I ever had breast implants. Which breast? Where is the breast? I don't have any breast, so, so why would I do breast implants? I think I have, I can never do breast implants and I have not done breast implants. So I am going to take my counter because I have not and I will never do breast implants. Never have I ever done something bad and <laughs> blame it on someone else. Oh my god. I have actually. I have actually done that. Like <laughs> when I was young, I would do something bad, and I know you two have done it, so don't you say, feel that you are watching, you have done it. So don't look at me one time because I know that I have, <laughs> when, I, when we, I was young, I would do something bad, and then when they come and when my, when my parents come and ask, who did it, who did it, I'll blame it on my younger sister, Joy, then because she could not talk and she could not defend herself. So I was like, mm, whatever. It's joy. And my parents will, like give her the punishment instead of me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> why am I even the why am I even apologizing? Sorry. I'm just I don't know what to say. Never have I ever had a boyfriend. Because I've had a boyfriend. I have a boy and I had I've had a boyfriend, yeah, when I was in uni, I first university that I went to, I had a boyfriend, so that's it. Never have I ever farted in public and blamed it on someone. Hey, I'm not, I'm not. I have not done that. Thing is that I will fart, I will mess in public. <laughs> I will mess in public, but you can't blame it on someone else. Of course, when I was in secondary school, I used to mess. She does our shit or something. <laughs> because people that don't be there, they see your dream. I used to mess when I was in secondary school, and then I would allow it to smell. When it smells, I don't blame it on someone, it's a smell because it's a mess, a mess, a mess. I won't talk right. and I can't blame it on someone, so I have not. 
Never have I ever picked my nose. I have. I have. I have. I have. I picked my nose. Never have I ever wished I was someone famous. Now let me explain the question. The question is, never have I ever wished I was someone famous. Like maybe wishing you were Katy Perry. I've never done that. You see me, I love myself. Despite the fact that I go through pain, I love myself. And the thing is, I can never, and I know that I'm going to be famous one day, but I can never, and I never wish I was someone famous, like, like, because I know I'm walking my way up there, so I can never wish, I want to be myself, I have more to throw to people, so that is it, I love myself. Never have I ever stolen meat from mom's pot. I have never stolen it from mom's pot. <laughs> I have never stolen it from my mom's pot. The only thing I knew I, I stole there was chewing gum. Yeah. You know, when I was six to seven years old, then my mom had, had a shop, and then she would tell me. Stay in this shop, let me go and buy mom goods to stock up the shop. And I'll be like, okay, mom, then she will go. Then my junior star will be there, she will be there. And then I'll be like, check, 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 check if anybody's coming, check if anybody's coming. And then I'll carry a stool and clamp the stool. And then I will take one she got myself, say, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. And I'll say, okay, and I'll pick the second one. So that is the only way. And they did not mention she got. They mentioned me, so that was why I took the I have not drink. Yeah. So never have I ever kissed the opposite gender. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. When I had a boyfriend, why would I kiss him now? <laughs> you sleep outside. Oh my god. You're so spoiled. Like you're spoiled. I'm <laughs> watching this video. Mom, don't come for me. Oh, wait, Jesus. So I'm really, I'm really excited. I have not told my mom or my or anybody. Help. <laughs> yes, now I have a boyfriend. So, yeah, because, like, we kissed now. So, it's not something bad. <laughs> anyway, next question. Never have I ever kissed the same gender. I'm not gay. I have not kissed the same gender. If it's maybe mm, the chico and her, maybe I have. You know when you've not seen a girlfriend for a long time and you, maybe she comes visiting you say, hey, Alpha, still alpha, Beatrice, alpha. You hug her and then you peck her. But aside that, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Ususu is kissing people, but I have not ususu anybody. Like any girl, like I'm not gay and I can never be gay. I'm a girl and I love boys. <laughs> so next question. Never have I. Never had sex. Oh, what kind of question is this? I'm not asking this question. This is my private life now. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't even thoroughly look at these questions when I was here. Jesus. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm not asking this. No, I'm not asking. I'm not asking this. I'm not asking. I'm not asking. Okay, okay, fine, I'll answer. Um, I have, I have not. I'm serious, I have not 
had sex. You know, I see sex as something spiritual, and I want it. I want to do it with my husband. You know, I still believe in this. This this let's say I can't believe that a lady should keep herself for her husband, and that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that right man. I had boyfriends, but I never, re- I didn't have sex with any of them. I kept myself and I made them understand that us being in a relationship doesn't mean sex. And so they accepted, they understood. So uh, the only thing I did was kiss so kiss to <laughs> My mom is going to kill me after this video. She's watching, she's going to kill me. <laughs> And the last question, never have I ever faked sickness, so I won't do church. I have. I have. I have. I have. You know, when sometimes when I don't feel like doing a chore in the house, I just be like, mm. tell my mom or tell my dad that I'm having body pain. I you know that considering my condition, oh God, I was in my condition to take advantage of many times. Considering my condition, I would tell my parents that I had body pain and that I didn't want to sweep. I didn't want to do my house chores, and my mom and dad said, "Oh, you can't rest. Make sure you feel better before you come out." My mom, can't, my dad would tell me to go and rest very well, but my mom would like rest and come back. For oh, you see, my two sisters, the elder one and the younger one, ha, yeah. they know that I'm lying. They know that I'm lying. They know. So when I'm going to, like, when I'm going inside the room to sleep, <laughs> my sister starts looking at me one time. There were younger sister I'll be like, don't worry, don't worry, you come back and do your own chair, you come back, I'm not doing it for you, I'm not doing it for you. And I'll be like, oh daddy, you said you won't do my chair for me. And then my dad will be like, oh, stop it. They were like, go and rest, they go and rest. And that is how I used to escape. Sure, that's the lecture 101. How to escape chores, how to escape, not going to school. Stay in school, but I didn't tell you not to go to school. Stay, stay in school, be go, please. So this is my second time of shooting this vlog. And I'm looking tired, right? I know I'm looking tired. I'm not looking like the normal sleeping. I was looking like in the morning. I was looking like, like a pretty Barbie. I was looking so cute. But now I look exhausted and tired. I just said that I didn't say so. Don't mind my English people, please. Don't mind my English. Mm? Thank you for watching this video. And before I go, before I leave you guys to do whatever you were doing before, I told you I will introduce a quote to this blog. And the quote will be popping on your screen. Yeah, it says, Do not let situations sign your death sentence. Depression can be subdued when you take out D, E, and remove I. So, just press on, just keep moving on, just keep seeing that, don't get discouraged, don't get, if you're feeling depressed, my dear, I know, I understand, I've been in that situation where I was so depressed, and I felt like I wanted to kill myself, but when there is life, there is hope. The only time you know there is no hope is if you're dead and you're not dead. When there is life, there is hope, so move on, do things that, you can still accomplish your dream, do things that... In fact, when people see you, they want to make you their role model. So that's just just press on. And also, in my last, in one of my last videos, that is um, living in pain for 22 years, um, I got a comment from a very adorable lady. Her name is Wendu Scrip. She also has a YouTube channel. And I was so touched. This lady actually told me, like, she commented several times and when I read this comment I was so touched like tears came down my eye. I'm not I'm not joking like serious tears came down my eye because 
I, I actually saw that someone actually connected with that video and it was just like maybe when she was watching it if you get to some stage and she comment get to, because the, all the comments were so touchy so thank you when to scream and I would love to do a collaboration with you sooner or later in life yeah I'd love to do a collaboration with you so I don't know for you that if you would agree, but I would love to do a collaboration with you. I want to get you that beautiful you, that spirit, that calm spirit, that uh... like don't worry, in my next vlog, I'm going to show you guys the comments, the comment sheet. In fact, I'm able to show you the evidence here yeah, now. So you will just look at it, you see, like she even when you read it, she didn't just comment, just comment. Like she commented touch my life like I felt like someone actually connected with my video and thank you so much I am so happy I appreciate going to sleep and I hope you agree for me when I agree for us to do the collaboration sooner or later and it's about me and you know thank you so thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Pretty girl, beautiful girl, tired girl. This girl that looks like she wants to sleep. You know, she needs your subs. Like she needs you guys to subscribe. Can I say this? She needs you guys to subscribe to this channel. Hmm. Hmm.